back at it again in uh, the unknown, unnamed world. Not having a world name kind of sucks because I can't make jokes about it. Uh, anyway, I'm back for another night of this. Uh, last time, I finished year three. I finished exploring... Where did I go? I went to Vale Lou. Uh, did the sluice. Unleashed the sleeshed. Uh, then I went to the Plains of Foom. And I did both of the uh, dungeons there. And then I came over here. Found a... What's it called? Miasma stream I couldn't pass. And then went to Rabena Terra, which was a huge mistake. That dungeon took me 90 minutes when I thought it would take me like 40. Uh, the puzzles were terrible. And looking up the order of dungeons I was supposed to go to, this is probably the last one I was supposed to go to in terms of the first cycle. So, good job me. Also, uh, it turns out that the DLC weapons I have equipped are extremely fucking powerful. Uh, who would have guessed? So, uh, I'll probably be taking those off because uh, I don't want the game to be too easy. Anyway, it does not appear that there's any towns or anything over here, so we'll probably just head right to the next dungeon, Conal Karak. Conal Karak? Conal? Conal? I don't know. Hey, V4, how you doing? I almost missed your message there. I saw it, like, flash. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, yeah. So, let's just jump into this. I was a little frustrated at the end of the last stream because it took me four hours to, to wrap it up instead of 3. and I, It was almost 4 a.m. when I stopped. Actually, it was after 4 a.m. And uh, I was a little frustrated. If I had gone to that dungeon much earlier in the stream, I would have been much happier about it. To be honest, the dungeon was fine. It was just that one puzzle. that was th Those two puzzles that this were just marsh killing me. This marsh has thwarted travelers since ancient times. The rain that falls here... Oh yeah, this game's great. ...with miasma. Much to the chagrin of prospective intruders. In days of old, the Selkies were driven from their ancestral home. They marched ever westward in search of a new haven. Here, they built bridges over the swamp and at long last reached the other side. Square grass. But once there, they found no land to call home. Very odd, since Rabena Terra is built on the other side of the bank, and the whole point of that was that was a home of sorts. Kanal. Kanal Karak. Or Karach. Alright, uh, so I have six hearts, seven slots on my character now. The more time I spent playing it, the more I like it. True and also not true. Uh, I liked the game. I liked the game a lot. Um, that said, I was only planning on streaming three hours. I don't want to. I don't like streaming till four a.m. because after three, I kind of have to be really quiet, or else I might risk waking someone up, and I just don't want to take that risk. I mean, I definitely enjoyed most of that time uh, after three a.m., but I kind of, I kind of wish I hadn't gone there. Um, Either way, though, it's out of the way now. I'm ready to go to the other two dungeons for this year. That said, uh, oh, I don't have any other... I, I guess I left all my weapons behind. So I only have these two. These DLC weapons are apparently more... Sh they're stronger than everything else in the game. This is post-game level equipment, which is why I was doing so much damage with it. Uh, so I'll use it for this dungeon, but once I head back, wake everyone up... No, I can't do that. I mean, I don't try to. If I do, then I feel bad. Uh, so I'll use this weapon for one more dungeon, and then I'll probably switch to, uh, whatever weapon is, like, good enough for what I have right now. Just because I'm making the game too easy. That's why my strength's a 54, and my magic's only a 20. Because my strength should, theoretically, be, like, a 30 at most right now. I should be 25 per, uh, points weaker than I am. One day. Well, I have some stuff in the works. Uh, I might not have to worry about being too quiet soon, but 
we'll see. That would be a few months from now. Cure. Perfect. Got it right away. And yet, and once again, I've forgotten the buttons. Cure! The stone is inscribed with ancient Selkirk scripts. Unfortunately, the words are a mystery to you. Oh. Uh, I'll have to bring my Selkie in here. Uh. Give me a place for yourself to stay up all night. Uh, not exactly. Close, but not exactly. See, I shouldn't be killing enemies in, like, three to four swipes. I should be, like, taking, like, eight or nine, usually. Fire. It was an ice enemy, but it had fire. I wish you could turn off auto-slotting in. Like, I don't need two Phoenix Downs in my, uh, in my thing here. I'm gonna start pumping uh, stats into uh, into magic when I can, how I can. I see enemies there. I just visited some more dungeons. Uh, I didn't really progress. I mean, the story progression in this game is interesting because it mostly just happens randomly on the world map. Uh, so you didn't miss much. You just missed me go through a bunch of dungeons. I ended up streaming until almost 4 a.m. because uh, I got stuck in a dungeon and I wasn't too happy about that. Might do a run of this afterwards with my uh, with one of my selkies just to read the tablet tablets. Also, how you doing? See, my magic is about at the strength it should be for this point in the game. My attack is just really high because. These DLC weapons are way too powerful. <laughs> Blizzard. Let's let's uh let's fuse holy. holy. Power of money in action. Yep, literally the power of money, which I'm not too thrilled about. At the same time, though, I'm only on cycle one, so I'm kind of in the easy part of the game anyway. It's going to get a lot more difficult as I go on, because uh, the dungeons upgrade once you've beaten them. Blob of chili gel. Also, playing as a Uke gives you a uh, huge advantage because you could cast spells twice as quickly. Take that fish. Yeah, 
It's a shame that my challenge here is take physical damage because the enemies aren't really dashing out a lot of that. Oh, immune. How many classes are in the game? It's kind of weird because they're not really classes, it's what race you choose. Uh, there's Yukes, which is my class, my race. Uh, they're kind of like bird people. They're just souls and armor, kind of. Uh, they have very high magic and low attack. There's Clavats, which are humans. They are very evenly uh, spread. Lilties, which are like kind of like little, little tiny people. Uh, I believe they have high attack but low defense. And then there's um, Selkies, which I don't know what they... I actually don't know what classes, what stats go for each class. It's, it's, I've only played one character, so... You could have up to eight per file, though, so it's not... It's, it's interesting. Thunderball. Valiant weapon. Yeah, so like the strongest weapon you could get in the normal story for Ukes, and pretty much every class, it's 33 attack. Meanwhile, this weapon has 45, so it's like, oh, okay. That's why I'm doing so well. been slowed. I guess in my in my case, because I'm using a hammer. Selkic script. All right. Items in this game are pretty useless. Uh, okay, so that's, that's a root up. So the enemies present do change on higher cycles as well. Also, I found that there's some artifacts that only show up on lower cycles, so it is possible to miss out on some of them. Yeah. 
cherry cluster. So something that's interesting is that these um these maps, this this mini map you get, it actually isn't in the uh, original version because you'd have to have your Game Boy Advance plugged in to see it. Even if you were playing single player, so you just don't get one in the other versions. Okay, this is where I started. Though I will say, after you beat a dungeon once, they really should just give you a map. Like a full map. Cycles like days, right? Because I remember hearing this game progresses in years. Yes. Uh, the game progresses a year. Every time you every time you collect three drops of myrrh, the game uh, progresses. What happens is once you've collected a drop of myrrh from a dungeon, it won't respawn for about two years in-game. So you can return to it, but the dungeon won't have the, uh, the progression point in it. You could just return to farm. Um, and every year some new stuff happens. I believe up to like the 6th or 7th year. I know the 5th year is when the final uh, main dungeon gets unlocked. Like right now I could access all but the last dungeon and one other dungeon. And you're going to see once I finish this year I'll be able to go to the last of the regular dungeons. And then... Uh, it's essentially redoing all the dungeons on higher cycles until I'm ready to go to the final dungeon. This game has a little bit of a problem with loading in areas. It kind of slows down a bit, but it's not too bad. It clears up within a few seconds. haste at some point. Stone of Blizzard. liquid. Main gauche. I haven't taken that one yet. Doesn't really affect magic, though. I really need to get some magic ups soon, especially if I'm going to start gimping my attack. Stone. So I think I think it's, I've established in the last stream that you can only ever get two of an element in a dungeon. So I could get two thunders or two fires or two blizzards. So if you ha you can only get the level three spell if you have the ring of that element as well. So at some point I'll probably get a third thunder in here or second thunder and I'll be able to do a uh, thundaga. Me? Thundaga. Oh, wait. Uh, this looks like the way I'm supposed to go. I don't mind taking damage, especially if it's physical, since the uh, goal 
the bonus goal for this dungeon is take physical damage. Apparently the way it works is that the higher, the more points you have, the better uh, artifact the boss will drop at the end. Money's a little hard to come by in this game, if you can't tell. Uh, you don't get a lot of it, and it doesn't come that often. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, where is it? I just saw it. There we go. Nice. Found the Moogle House. I think there's one in every dungeon, honestly. I think I've just missed a bunch. There are three in that set. Put him, put him, put him, bum, but okay. Artifact Green Beret. Don't want it. There's probably nothing over there. So another thing, I mentioned this before, but if you're playing multiplayer, you don't have Mog to help you. Uh, you always have to have one player carrying the chalice. So it leads to an interesting... Uh, like, dynamic, where one character will probably always be kind of needing defense, whereas uh, the rest of the team will push forward. Or you can just put the chalice down and have all four of you fight within the circle. Or you can get risky and leave the circle, but then you're constantly taking damage, so... And defense does not really uh, guard against that. I think slow only affects, um, because I could still attack at a normal rate. Slow only affects spell casting and movement. You just have to be good to combo with the weapon, which is, uh, not easy. Thunder. Perfect. Split that. There we go. Me. Thundaga. 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 There's another road over there. Shit. Okay. We're not done here yet. 
Yeah, this whole area in general, this part of the world map, I'm supposed to do after uh, the other dungeon that opened up. So I'm kind of doing these in reverse order. I started with the hardest of the three that are now open, and I'm moving down to the easiest. Not that it matters, because they're all still cycle one, so it's not going to be too hard no matter what. But uh, the sooner I clear them out, the sooner it'll get to cycle two, and the sooner uh, we could start doing all of the dungeons over again. Am I back at the bit? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, these dungeons definitely get a lot bigger as you go through them. Uh, this is way bigger than the starting dungeon of the game. Is that thing? for this. Interesting. I haven't seen uh, unique enemies in dungeons before. Like, like, yeah, there's unique enemies, but I haven't seen, like, giant enemies like this before in a dungeon. That said, just like every enemy in this game, they go down pretty quickly. <laughs> Jagged Scythe, that's probably a enemy part. Ring of Cure, nice. Cool. Well, I know what I'm taking from this dungeon. Magic plus one and a permanent cure spell, so I'll never have to worry about picking another one up. The stone is inscribed with ancient Celtic text. Unfortunately, the words are a mystery to you. I might just do, like, a bum rush to this dungeon afterwards with a Selkie, just to see, uh, what that says. Cure ring. Cast cure at any time. Perfect. I'm gonna leave that there because that'll be a permanent fixture on my menu. And since in single player there's no higher cure spell, I like never need to pick up another cure. Unless I want to just make haste with uh, the other one. I forget what makes haste actually. It's cure, cure, and I think clear or raise? No. Okay, is it clear? No. Maybe I missed- maybe it's clear, clear, cure? Uh, never mind. I thought- I could have swore it was cure, cure, and then something else. Using. But anyway, Cure Ring is great because that means that it not only gives me a permanent cure, but all the rings also give me plus one magic, so 
worth having. In fact, I'll put Thunder Ring in slot two, and I'll just have two Thunders. I'll put a Phoenix down there, even though I don't really need it. So as far as I could tell, like, food is completely useless to me now, because I just have the Cure Ring. Permanently. And it's not like I cheated to get that. That's This is when you're supposed to get it. It's in that chest. On Cycle 1. Anyway, this detour entirely worth it. So that's two of the Magic Rings down. Uh, two of the Hearts down. Three of the Pockets down. So there's one more Pocket, two more Hearts, and three more Rings. And I think one of the other rings is actually in this, uh, dungeon. It's on whenever you do the third, uh, run-through of it. this area. Candy ring. I know, it's a magic up. Yep. But again, not worth it. Magic plus one, I'm already getting that from uh, the other thing. So, the artifacts, if you didn't know from the other streams, um, they take effect when you pick them up in a dungeon, but you can only take one with you when you finish it. So, like, I have that, I have both that ring and the, and the cure ring, but uh, I'm only going to be able to take one of those out with me. And once you've taken one out, you can't take that one out again, like, ever. So, once I take the Cure Ring, I can't get another one. Once I've taken out the Candy Ring, which just gives me a magic point, that point gets permanently added and I can't take it out again. I keep getting the buttons confused. The worst is interacting in a dungeon is B, while interacting in the overworld is A, which is very, very annoying. I don't know why they didn't just unify it to always be like B. Oh, okay. Locked off. Uh, so, some dungeons just have puzzles that you can like, solve to unblock it. Some, like this, I'm sure, because I haven't seen any way of dropping that, you just have to wait for a later cycle. So that means once I've cleared this dungeon and waited two years in-game, uh, the dungeon should upgrade, and then I'll be able to go over there. Like, you can see there's an enemy over there that I just can't reach, because there's no way to get over there. I think. Wait. Is there a split path over here? Or maybe there is. Never mind. I didn't go back far enough. There's even a dungeon in an earlier area that doesn't show up. So cycles are cycles are two year. A cycle is two years. Um, three dungeon clears is a year. Once you've cleared two years, dungeons that have already been cleared in that first year will regenerate their uh, their mer drop. So you could go back to them and get another one. But that's when they also upgrade. So. Like, I'm going to finish this dungeon, but then this is year four. When I come back to this dungeon in year six, it's going to be slight, It's going to be a bit harder, and then I'll be able to get another drop from it, and there'll be different items. And then if I come back in year eight, it'll be different again. Though, from what I've seen, not every dungeon regenerates in two years. I think all of them should by the time I'm, like, done with them, but... 
that's interesting. Like, the game's open-ended, but at the same time, it does kind of push you towards doing specific dungeons in a specific order. Just so you go to all of them while they have all their cycles. Like, I could do the beginning dungeons of the game with, and on the higher cycle now. But instead, I'm just finishing up all the cycle 1 dungeons. And I know for a fact that in year 4 or 5, which is the next year... Uh, there's going to be one more dungeon that I can't go to this year that opens up. And then theoretically, after I beat that last dungeon, I'll be able to go to uh, the final dungeon of the game. But I'll probably be woefully unprepared for it, so I'm probably going to wait on that. Alright, another Selkic script. So yeah, there's clearly a spot that I can't get to in here yet, and I have to wait for the dungeon to upgrade. I also happen to know that there is one side quest later on that uh, takes you to this dungeon and it just ends abruptly in the middle of the dungeon with without much... It's just like you're left to imply what the uh, what happens. A lot of this game is um, show, don't tell. You kind of see... Like, you'll see people's daily lives. Uh, you'll see how they go about um, collecting their myrrh. And the stories just progress from there. Like, you don't really take an active part in it. You just kind of observe. Like, at the end of the day, it's, it's interesting because... Your character in this game does not have much of a story. You're set out... You set out on the caravan to collect myrrh. Uh, you have a family that has a job that you select at the beginning of the game. Each character can have, each character's uh, families can have uh, one of eight jobs, and once you use a job once, that village does not have it open again. So, you eventually get a, everyone gets their, every family gets their own job. Uh, and there's really no like actual story to what your town is doing, what your characters do, except aside from keep your town alive. Uh, everything else is kind of observed through everyone else. You'll, you'll see characters go through storylines, have development, but you just kind of stay silent the whole time. That said, by witnessing these events, you gain memories, and memories are very important to the end game. The story hasn't really elaborated on that yet, though. I believe when you start getting to, like, year five and six, they start, uh, really kicking up the importance of having memories. Yeah, you're basically like yeah, pretty much. Except you're de you don't really have a destiny tied to this story. You're just a tra you're just one of many many caravanners who uh might just end up saving the world if you do the right thing. Oh god, is that a behemoth? Ow. Oh no. Oh. Thank God, I had that phoenix down. I found a third Thunderstone. Okay, maybe you don't aren't limited to two per dungeon. I doubt anything will happen if I put this here, though. No, you can't fuse another one. Chunk of Oricalcum. I believe that is one of the best crafting materials in the game right there. It's it's best it bests mithril, and I believe there's only like one 
thing that you could get better. Oh, hey, Izzy. Yeah, it's a surprise. It was a surprise behemoth. Uh oh, all right. Oh, fuck. Okay. Split. Uh, what was it? Raise and then no, 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 no. It's it's ability a uh, split. There we go. There we go. See, I'll be taking this uh, weapon off very soon. Phoenix down. These aren't the normal Sahadlins. Or Mermen. I don't know. I don't know what they're called in this game. They're definitely taking a fair bit of punishment to go down to. hits, even with my, uh, super powerful weapon. It's a ghost flan? What the hell? Cool. They're shadow flans. Oh, right, I remember reading about them. They need to have a holy spell cast on them to be able to be hit. Stone arrays. Okay, we just went around. But um, but um. Probably should just keep Holy on hand right now, because I feel like this is going to be the uh, theme to this room. Oh lord, there's a lot here. Alright. Let us uh, retreat for a few minutes. Weapon. Cool. Stone of Fire. I think I pretty much have three of everything now. Yep. I wish, I really wish you could re remove Defend from uh, your menu. It's so pointless to have it as a command. Just because I'm never going to have time to like switch to it and use it in any situation that requires it. They should have just made the ZL or ZR buttons, which would, you know, go unused otherwise. And the reason I know that they don't do that is because since this game was made as a mobile phone game, because this this game, this remastered version is on uh, PS4, iOS, and Android as well. And because they were like, well, people are going to use touch control, so we need to keep it all in, like, simplistic menus. So they didn't change it from the original. Which is a shame, because honestly, I feel it would work so well if they just had that command as, like, a separate button.
Sorry, full four and a half. Mithril shield. Ooh. I wish I had the wind element for my chalice. Okay, we're good. We're safe. Armor. So designs can only be used once. Once you make a, a piece of armor with a design, you lose it. That's why you get so many duplicates. The behemoth just said, you're not worth it, and walked away. <laughs> Say this these last two areas here in this in this spot of the map are long as fuck. Gotta do this again. More split pads still. That's it. Saw the boss room up ahead. Yeah. 
Also, the bosses get stronger on each cycle. They get new attacks and more health. Character could easily just go to the left and get the drop. Uh, no, never mind. We got a. Is that a ghost? Fuck. I need holy, aren't I? Dragon zombie. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I can't actually go up to it. That's interesting. Nice comboing there, buddy. It's a dragon zombie. A, a drago zombie. Okay, there we go. Now it's corporeal. Yeah, if, um... In this game, uh, healing and raising don't the, uh, harm undead, you have to make a holy spell. Nice, that's, that's very damageful. Very damageful indeed. This boss is definitely harder than the Lich, I'll say that. Thundaga, it's Thundaga. Yeah, this game... I mean, they updated the graphics, but it's it's got the same art style that the GameCube version had. I still have to split this all because I can't friggin... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna... Star Carrot, okay. music reminds you of Autumn too. Yeah, it kind of does. I read that the whole idea behind this game was that they used a lot of, like, Renaissance instruments. And whenever I think of that, I think of the Ren Fair. And last year I went to the Ren Fair mostly during the end of summer. I went to three of them. I went to New York Ren Fair twice, and then, uh, there's a local Ren Fair in, uh, New Jersey that I went to. And two of them were in September. And, well, one was September, one was October, and one was August. And I remember the last one in uh, October was very, very cold. I was freezing, and I was wearing a kilt. So my legs were uh, pretty cold. 
I miss places. I miss going outdoors. Thinking about renting a cabin for a few days just to go somewhere different. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I, I just need a break from my job. Like, it hasn't even been that bad this week. I'm just so burnt out that, like, I don't want to do it. And also, time has been moving extremely quickly lately, and I'm really feeling like I'm, I'm losing out on stuff. At the same time, though, I think something big might be happening soon that wasn't going to happen and now might actually happen again, so... I might have to forego taking time off to uh, make that happen first. Here you go, Capo. Thank you. Thank you, Mail Moogle. That letter from my mama, Ardane. I hear that the striped apples from the farm are much better than the ones on the market. If I recall correctly, star carrots and gourd potatoes were their specialties. I'll try them. Well, I don't know why you would say whatever. That's such a rude thing to say. And I'll send a, uh, Star Carrot. Heinrich's relationship with me is a little low. If I get, um, the father's relationship up, I'll get the ultimate weapon. Which, uh... Me waiting, Capo. Shut up. Which, uh... Got your reply, Capo. Isn't as strong as the weapon I have now, but it would justify me being overpowered so at this point Capo. in the game. Um... Where do I work? Uh, I don't want to talk about the exact place I work. Right now, well, I'll say, I work from home right now. Our office, because of the whole, you know, because of the whole pandemic thing, we sh we started working from home. And then our office lease ended, and we decided just to not, not renew it. So we're just a remote company now. Uh, I work for a company that makes kiosks. Um, and we copy keys, and it's pretty cool. Alright, what do I got here? All right, the cure ring. Rat's tail. So the rune bell's pretty good, but the cure ring's better. Because that lets me cast cure anytime. Plus, it gives me plus one magic. Which it doesn't uh, tell you. What's the same as my profession? Uh, I don't really have one. Right now, I'm a remote servicer for these kiosks. Like, I do remote hardware work on them. And I also do some in-person work if the place is close. But, um... I, I'm trying to become a voice actor. I'm, like, training my voice and uh, auditioning for things. And uh, I stream, too, which I wouldn't say is a profession, but uh, I do it a lot, so I guess it counts for something. Today I visited Connell Karak. As I marched over the endless planks, I began to understand how the Selkies must have felt. The dragon zombie awaited me at the end. Long ago, Selkies must have fought this creature in their search for a new home. The myrrh tree drooped mournfully, as if it marked where the Selkie's dreams were buried. Uh, so, let me, um... I don't want to run through that dungeon again. Especially since none of my characters have any, uh, weapons or items that are really good. Actually, no, they all have DLC weapons, so they're all pretty overpowered. But, uh, I will pick a Selkie here. Let's do Izzy since he's here right now. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying hard. Probably not as hard as I should be, but life is messed up right now. I just want to read those, uh, tablets. I'm probably just gonna blast past everything here. So I can grind a dungeon as much as I want. It's not going to, uh, tell me I can't go in, but, um, there's not gonna be another murder drop at the end of it. Oh, I could get knocked right out of that, huh? Look how quickly I got taken down. Because I don't use any of these characters.
To those who follow, we shall build a road. Let these stones guide your, you to our new haven. Also, not having elemental spots in here means uh, to change your key, uh, to change your key, not to say your kiosks. Uh, to change your uh, chalice's element means that uh, you don't get any uh, warp points if you want to retreat. Not that it matters because. Uh, If you die, you just get sent back to the beginning of the room anyway. Also, look how much faster the Selkie moves versus, uh, the Yuke. Alright, the other tablet was up here, I believe. There were four total. Not. I can't find where the other tablet was. There was a second one in this room, though. I know that. Is that it? No. Dungeon is uh, disgustingly full of enemies. Oh, there's the other tablet. There it is. To those who follow our new hate. Oh, shit. Should have realized I had to kill them first. No, 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 let me through. Shit. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this. Alright, you know what? Maybe this isn't the smartest idea. Uh, I'm just wasting time at this point. I keep forgetting the game doesn't pause for any reason, so if you're reading something, it's still, uh, it's still active. No, this game has auto-saving, thankfully. It's a very forgiving game, which is very nice, uh, because otherwise this game would be brutally difficult for most people. So uh, let me dump the, this weapon I have off and get something weaker so I can uh, justifiably strike enemies. Alright, Drax, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. You have a good evening.
Or day, I'm not sure where you live. <laughs> I don't know what happens to multiplayer if the entire party drops. I think uh, then you're kicked out. You, you are kicked out of the dungeon. But this game also has generous auto-saving, so it's not too bad. And again, I'm not running into random events here. message I had to respond to. Hello. No. Uh, I need a blacksmith. Is there one here? here before is gone. I wonder where they ran off to. <laughs> nah, there's no, uh, guy here. Oh, where's the dude that does the, uh, It's not easy raising cows, but when you give them all, yeah, when you give them your all, each one is precious. I often forget to feed the cows these days. I bought a cow and sent it home. It improves your relationship with your father, which is good, because, uh... Getting him maxed out is pretty important if I want ultimate weapon. Again, not that it matters because these friggin' DLC weapons, but... I want to feel like I'm not, at least not cheating the game. That's where I'm gonna go next, the other spot he's offering. That's the other that's the only dungeon that's still left on uh, cycle one to do. At least for this year. Next year one more opens up. Plate. Cannot craft here. Wait, I can't craft that here? Really? It's a. 
Okay, whatever. Thunder resistance plus one, plus two defense, and I have enough. I have enough of everything to make it. I just can't craft it here. Mithril hammer. Why is this better? Focus shock bomb, focus power bomb. I mean, I guess these are both. I can make both of them. Why not? There. Now I have weapons that are slightly less powerful, but still obtainable at this point in the game. This iron plate I should get rid of, though. Let's see with these helms. I don't know. Why is this one, like, one strength less, but it's considered the, uh, like, a higher level? Maybe it's just better. Maybe the attack is just better. Yeah, the only thing better is Father's Hammer. Mystic Hammer is 35. Ultima Hammer is 35. Oh, it seems like there's just different classes of weapon. So, like, 30 was the best of that, um... Of that group. Well, Mystic Hammer's better. But for this for the, this, this group I have now, Mars, uh, Mar Hammer, Goblin Hammer, Father's Hammer... Are slightly less powerful. Alright, whatever. At least I don't have a 45 powered weapon now, so my attack is slightly worse. Anyway. Oh good, there's an event. I was wondering why I'm not getting them. Maybe they're predestined on certain spots. That's these two again. What? You like what you see? Or is that a stare of disapproval? What do you say? How about a song to usher in your next Mer festival? Just a hundred gil will do. That's the spirit. Okay. <laughs> it just starts playing the music. Like I could take a few seconds here to. I don't know why, but when I stream now, I get itchy. It's really weird. Hey, look at that. I'm having fun. Oh, excuse me. One second. Good time, gummy bear. If 
By good time, I mean CBD. <laughs> Cupid. Cupid gummies. I heard music coming from the dirt road where I found the couple from Luda. It was much too soon for the Myrrh Festival, but I stayed long enough to watch the girl dance and to reminisce about life back home. As the music played, I couldn't sit still, and I got up to join the dance. It was fun, but a bit embarrassing. I need wind, and that's as far as I'm going to go, just because I want to uh, see if Stiltskin's here. Oh, I forgot to get it. I think I had to get it from, uh... Yeah. I had to get it from, uh... From the Fields of Foom. So I gotta go back. It's for the story. Potential story. I don't even know if it's actually... Oh, hey, who's this dude? I believe that we should cherish memories throughout our lives. Gertie? Oh, wait, so that's, um... That's not Gertie. It's the other one. Think about it. Consider how empty our lives would be if we could remember nothing. Memories are beautiful indeed. The long journeys to collect myrrh are a trial that we must endure. He must be his twin brother. That our bright young travelers will someday be free of this burden. The long journeys to collect myrrh, I hope, though, that our... Interesting, they're just randomly there. Where to? All right. to come back here for. Kind of a waste of time, honestly. Well, actually, I'm not even going past the next one. I'm just going to walk up to it, see if Stiltskin's there.
Yep, he's wrong. Oh, yeah, he is here. Nice. We got. I wonder if there's a limit to how much we can remember. For the sake of argument, let's just assume that there is. Where do you suppose our memories go once they're forgotten? Well, it has nothing to do with my quest. I was just wondering. Interesting foreshadowing. It's weird. I think I'm like a year ahead in terms of progression because they kind of hint that you should be going down the miasma streams that Stiltskin is present at. But I've already done Veolu, so there's nothing down there right now. Actually, there might be something. There might be something. Uh, I should go and do there just to check uh, the town real quick. journey has some rain too hopefully you'll grow through your travels and end up stronger than when you started may that be true for both of our caravans and words of encouragement I'm glad I experienced them Farm folk, today I decided to take a side road for a change of pace. To my surprise, I heard someone call out to my caravan. It was a group of kindly-looking clavots. A look at their clothes told me that they probably hailed from the fields of Foom. Foom. Dutton. Do you wish to call? Just a moment. You are free to cross. Welcome back. Oh, I'm almost out of money, shit. Accessory designs. Uh, I might like. I might want to get one of these. Accessories. I don't know where to forge those. Come to think of it, Daynam left a village not too long ago. He said he would return unburdened. I suppose he went without a crystal.
You are a caravaner, are you not? Have you heard of Amadadi, the eccentric? He is a most unusual fellow, but he leads our village's caravan. <laughs> Hello. Denam left. He said that he could further research could only be done out in the field. Hello. I wonder why lightning inflicts paralysis. Hello. I'm to think ice inflicts a kind of paralysis too, doesn't it? Amadati told me that too much cold leads to a loss of all sensation. Hello. Of course, even without lightning or ice, some people just feel nothing at all. Amadati said that he has to be that way on purpose sometimes. But I know that he's a really warm person. Uh... Yeah, I wonder why I'm talking about Amadati. Hello. Have you ever met Denam? He's so smart. Hello. This is where I learned about the meteor. I'm thinking, thinking round and round and round. We have been poring over an ancient Selkic text we received. Hello. It seems that in ancient times there was once a great giant crystal. Mm. Oh yeah, okay, we've already heard this part. Did I ever go over here? I don't remember the spot. <laughs> I was once like that too, many years ago. Memory is a beautiful thing. Perhaps this very moment will fondly be remembered someday. I cannot complain of any hardship, yet somehow I feel dissatisfied. But I suppose we all feel that way sometimes. It keeps us moving forward with our own lives. Right. <sighs> Ugh, he's talking about the four elements again. We wouldn't even be in this town if we didn't already know of them. Hey! Aketa does nothing but stay in the village and work the field, so I brought him out here. Oh. Real men need to face the world. That's why we have to learn all kinds of things. <laughs> She's hitting a little too close to home there. Yeah. The days of Clavats troiling their lives away in the fields will end. I'll see to that. Gwimp. <laughs> this guy's name is Gwimp. <laughs> if we mastered magic, we lilites, we, li uh, li we lilties would be unstoppable. Our past glory would be revived. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Earth, water, fire, and wind. It's so simple, yet I often forget. History books speak of Lilti, who possessed such wisdom that he was called a sage. So I cannot abide those who claim that Liltis are only skilled at war. <laughs> no. That's right. There's more to Clavats than just tilling soil. I believe that those of us unskilled in the arts of magic will be left behind. Um. Uh -oh. Our world is governed by four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Uh -oh. Legend speaks of another higher element that rules the other four. Uh -oh. Research on this supreme element is currently underway. <sighs> we hope to find the records that could shed light on this element's nature. We discovered an ancient Selkic text the other day, but it contained no mention of it at all. What if I told you that I already had evidence of the uh, element existing? Okay, I don't think I ever got the- oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Wait, no. This is probably just an item. Yeah. Shit. I was gonna say, I didn't get the Moogle Nest here yet. Mm -hmm. Path of magical arts has no end. Learn one truth and two mysteries appear. Hmm. Remind me, Professor, how do I cast fire magic? Um, Professor, hello? Wait, you are the professor, right? Magic requires decades of study. Oh, he forges. Neat.
spell range up. Ooh, perfect. Yes, equip. My asthma resistance. Not really worth it. Twisted Spectacle. So it lets me cast magic qu uh, farther. That's cool. Oh, maybe I... Yeah, no, I already went in here. Never mind. I did find this one. It's pretty out in the open. And I remember that tree now. Hello. I'm glad I came out here. I got that neat accessory, so now I can cast magic further. Also, yeah, look, my strength is now just a 39 instead of a 54. So I'm not as broken as I was before. Once I get to the end of the game, I'll, I'll re-equip the, uh, the Koopo Hammer. Lots of menuing and uh, walking. What's the uh, thing here? I need wind to get back down. All right, winds and Tita. No, why? Why did it go down? I hit. I hit right. Sorry for a moment. I'm busy right now. I'm guard, take that. I'm busy training. Stay back or else. Take that. And that. I've already read that dialogue before. Oh, the Selkie's down there selling stuff. I'm here all day. It's an easy job, but it can be boring sometimes. Actually, it's kind of nice when people come and say hello. This job is so boring. I'm sorry, but I have no time for idle talk while on duty. I guess there's nothing going on here. It's very interesting. Like, there's a lot of spot places you could go, but... Nowadays, you could travel freely between Shella and Alphataria. But long ago, there was a great animosity between them. Like, there's stuff that happens in the towns, but the game's not too clear on it. So you kind of just have to make your way to each town whenever you have the chance. And presumably spend all the time searching it out. Be 
beyond the terrible tempest stand the true believers. We are the striped brigands, and we, uh... Well, have you come up with a slogan for us yet? We're almost here, you know. No. Uh, yeah. And they don't think I would notice all this? Pictured me trying to voice act. Come on, you can Hang do it. Hang in there, boss. Don't look at their faces. Yeah, look show them the greatness of the brigands, ah. ah, We got your stuff. Nah, nah. <laughs> he may have stolen my item. Hey, your elders behind not, boss. Now. But he, uh, he could not recover that pride. Oof. Lost a striped apple. It was worth the price of entry. As I insert Moogle. Insert Moogle? Or like insert? Alright. As I was riding along, I heard something hit the road behind us. I stepped out to take a look, and there again were the striped brigands. They looked like they wanted to say something, but they turned and ran off, waiting like children. Although they got me again, I felt a strange sense of victory. The loading times were a bit quicker, especially for a game that's all digital. Your four. Where to? Enter Mount Colon. Oh, it's just a dungeon, straight up. Is that a fact? Well, I heard that there's Kilanda Sulfur somewhere on Mount Kilanda. If you can bring me some Kilanda Sulfur, I'll give you a big discount. Of course, any time is fine. Oh. That's 500 gil per- Are you fucking kidding me? I don't have the money. What? Oh, that sucks. Well, I gotta go sell shit. Big oof. Earth. We 
Wait a minute, how do I, uh, where is Earth? There's Earth up there, but I need wind to get back down here. Earth over there. Uh, I literally cannot go back home. Because I need Earth to get back there through it. And if I get Earth from here, then I can't get back down to Iron Mine Downs. Oof, that kind of sucks. Alright, so... Kind of stuck. can't sell here oh okay see this is why this is the annoying part of the game I have to get up to where a general store is so I can just sell shit off Get money from a dungeon. I could do that too, but then I'd have to actually finish the whole dungeon. It's probably time to start lightening my load anyway. I don't really need the earlier forge stuff since I've gotten a ton of like late ga later game items already. It's interesting, like, the first cycle of all the dungeons, you kind of bolster your character, and then all the other cycles are just, uh, get better at the game. Very interesting and uneven progression rate. Also, to be honest, by the time I'd load up and go through a dungeon, it'd be take just as much time to load these screens anyway. Downs actually sell for a lot. Yeah, I have enough now. But I could also probably sell uh, a few mithril or a few bronzes. So, we'll sell these. There's no point, because we, we would go for the highest level one anyway. Like, we don't need two bronze belts when we have mithril belts already in the reins here. These I'll keep, just for, just for safety reasons. This, uh... We'll keep all that. Or Calcum, I could sell for 5,000 each, but it's, like, not worth it at all. I don't want to sell that. I probably shouldn't sell these. These are all for fusing stuff. And this is all 100 except for Phoenix Downs. Again, money isn't exactly easy to come by in this. It's definitely the rarest resource. But you also don't buy a lot of stuff, too. Like, I have no need to ever buy food again, because I have the Cure Ring now.
because this game is digital only. Yeah, the American uh, and European releases are digital only. Uh, it's not a big game, though. I think it's like a gig or two. Uh, in Japan, you could get a physical edition, but the region, the online's region locked, so it kind of sucks in that regard. I haven't done any online since I played, since I started this. I probably could if I wanted to, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I kind of don't want to do online while I'm trying to progress the game uh, myself. Oh, hey, there you are. You're playing uh, FF12. So all aboard. Alright, here we go. To Mount Kilanda. We just sail past the crystal and immediately die. fucking volcano. There's actually one more dungeon, I believe, to the left of that dungeon, too, that you can access starting next year. A volcano belched its flames across the southern sea. So its ashes then became a blot on history. Some may learn what moves their heart within that fiery blaze. Journeys that they long to start beyond the shadow's gaze. Cool. custom entrance for this dungeon. This is the... yeah, counting the, not counting the one for next year, this is the last uh, dungeon I have to do cycle one on. Okay, I have the Mithril Hammer equipped now, so let's put the Phoenix down right here. Same special thing that all the other weapons have. What about the uh, the goblin hammer? It has a plus one to it. I mean, they both look pretty cool, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, it's so hot. I didn't clip his fucking, uh, thing. Shit. Alright, let me see, uh, what the spell range is now. That's pretty far. That's like double where I could reach before. than I was before, but still pretty overpowered, all things considered. killing things mostly in three hits, so it's not really that big of a deal. because I didn't clip his hair. Should you wish to ascend higher, toss the urn into the fire. Okay, well, fuck that up. Oh, they meant in there, didn't they? weapon. Small hole beckons. Hello, folks. Why do you have a fire running in here? Hello, folks. 
Would you be burning up in this in this in this hellhole? Literal hellhole? I'm not gonna paint you, but we're gonna give you a heavy trim here. down for summer. enough of trim yet? <laughs> Is that enough? Can I stop now? Maybe blue too so you cast more blizzard. Glad that uh, that nest was at the beginning of the dungeon. Regenerate it again. That was a fine mess. Did I slide there for a second? Was I not moving? So they do mean in here. Alright, let's try again, again. I have a question, if I just move away, does it regenerate? We regenerate? Twiles of mana? No, it doesn't. How much of a trim do I have to give you to make you not tired? Ah. 
big if true. get the rhythm down for the combo at all. Right, it looks like the platform stays raised, which is good. Multiple paths forward, I don't like that. Uh, what? Oh, maybe I already raised that one somehow. It wasn't up and then it came up. I, I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, they're not going in anymore. Somehow I already raised that one. I raised the stakes, literally. The big stone stakes. This dude. I see we got all sorts of assholes here. Oh cool. It's getting wrecked by three people at once. back to the other area that I was just in. Yeah, it does. It's literally just a loop around. It makes no sense, but whatever. Probably just there as a tutorial, I guess. I'm actually like hitting the combo every time now.
Gravity kind of fucks him up, huh? There's a lot of damage. God, I, I haven't heard that one yet. He's a real jokester, huh? He's a real wise guy. Busting out the focus attacks here to get points. I'm guessing this is the third path here? Yep, we're just right back here again. these big dudes, huh? spell. I believe I got a third blizzard. Yep, I did. Yum apple.
fun and make me give up my good spell. Gang up. A lot of those Phoenix downs here, huh? Hit me. I was totally avoiding that, but whatever. It's one of those one of, another one of those big areas where it's like impossible to tell if you what you've done and what you haven't done. So this one was already triggered somehow. Uh, I don't know how. What is going- some of these puzzles are like broken as fuck. I think the game is glitched. Look, these- these are raised too! Hey Tulsilla, thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the shit show. Oh my god, ow. This game is busted. <laughs> hey y'all. How you doing tonight? Ow. Ow. Has this game even played it yet? It's very grindy and repetitive, but it's fun. If you like dungeon crawls, this game is pretty good. Though these this area is kinda great in my nerves a bit.
Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Ogre Fang. Nice. Okay. Not too far away to hit. I think this game... This port has some weird glitches, though, because these were supposed to... You're supposed to throw water in this to make these come up, and I just got to this area. They're already done. <laughs> this is the first time I've, I've played this area, so... Also, what was that? There was a treasure chest with nothing in it. That's cool. I think this game might be a tad glitchy. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. You have a good evening. Yeah, I'm going to be going for another 30 minutes or so, and then I'm probably going to stop. I'm dying way too quickly here. I'm also not playing well. I'm trying to brute force everything here when I shouldn't, but I'm like, I don't want to redo my menu again. that in there, even though it did nothing, because I've already activated it somehow. I made such a simple puzzle, it's really no big deal, but it's still really weird that it's just automatically solved already. Yeah, let me slap that blizzard, that third blizzard here. in a circle at this point. I think I've cleared out every area. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? I've already finished battling here, so... You just said you were tired. Why? Why do you do this to me? That's the boss. Okay, we don't want to go there yet. That's also the boss. Okay. Are we done already? Why are there three separate entrances to the boss layer? See here, Mount Kalanda. Oh, that was what the dude with the giant sword was for. For. I 
Iron Giant. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, looks like this is just a straight path. This dungeon's actually pretty short, all things considered. Puzzle elements here. What do we do? Toss this in there. Oh, re okay. That steam just kills me. That's cool. So glad I sold all those uh, Phoenix downs I didn't need. Does nothing. Thanks, it was useless. Alright, just cycle one. We can just plow through this with Blizzaga. Sorry, Blizzaga. again like that. Right in the foot. Every giant's weak spot.
you know what? I might not, uh... I might not do any more tonight. I've been streaming for two and a half hours. It's a little earlier, but last night I went to almost four. So I might call it early tonight. I'm not sure. There's a couple other things I might want to do. Uh, after we do the end of year stuff, I'll see how much time is left. Because that could take like ten minutes on its own. I might just cut it a little early and uh, pass along the love to someone else while I have the chance. Here you go, Capo. It's a letter from Denam. I'll check it out. There may be some clues in Konal Karak. I shall go and take a look. Good luck. I will send you... a bundle of rainbow grapes. I've got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. Hundred and seventy two points. What artifacts did I get? Fang charm, cat spell, defense plus one. Fire ring up oh, there we go. Well That's good. That's magic plus one and fire anytime. Perfect. That's three rings down, two to go. Just need the ice ring and the life ring. Yeah, it's the same four characters. I think it's just the first four that you make. Yeah, it is, because those are definitely my first four. Unless I'm playing as another one, I guess then they, they just cycle out. So I met Gertie and Hurdy now, and they both look exactly the same and sound exactly the same. <laughs> Oh, you're not working that late anymore? Did they- did your schedule change? Cause I remember you used to not be able to get- even come here until like 3 in the morning. But also, uh, if you're heading out, you have a good night. You get right home around midnight now? Nice! I was getting home around uh, 2 a.m. when I was working my night shift. Now, uh, theoretically, I'd be getting home around midnight, but since I'm working from home, I'm, I'm free as soon as the, the clock strikes 10. Uh, it's not something I take for granted. At all. Even though the job isn't uh, the best. Alright, dude, you have a good night. Uh, did I read this one? They say this city was built by misguided souls who clung to dreams of reviving the long lost age of prosperity. Now it's king and his subjects dwell here. You need to, yeah, I've read this in Eternal Afterlife. After the Lich, yeah, there's a deafening silence or something like that. A ghostly silence.
It's nice to see the uh, the whole town filled now. My fourth year with the caravan is over. So many memories from my earlier adventures have dimmed. From the joys of chance encounters to the suspense of my first battles. It would be a pity if the goal of gathering myrrh became the only thing that drove me forward. But I can't look back only at the past. The quest for Myrrh means hope for the future. Birdville's Caravan, Year 5. Theoretically, this is the earliest year I could beat the game. If I know, if, if I do things exactly right and get very lucky, uh, I could, but... So everything has upgraded to level 2 now. Well, Damon's, Demon's Court has not. And these two haven't. Mount Kalanda has not. And then there's that island down in the bottom left, which has one more dungeon. And then there's also a section to the left of Rubina Plains that I haven't gone to that I can't. I might be able to after I go down to that area to the left, but it's very unlikely that I'll make it. Especially since I don't have all the pieces I need to uh, make it happen. Dear, it seems the Jagan River has run dry. Perhaps someone at Shella can tell you what's become of the river's source. Oh, interesting. I might not be able to go to that next dungeon yet. I don't know where you could craft those. I think I have to go to the guy in, uh... Shella. Let's grab some star carrots. Uh -oh. Zai, it's time to set out, is it? Well, it's not much, but take this. Uh -oh. I've created a piece of clockwork. <laughs> Kegs of milk? Nah, I'm good. Oh, why not? If you're gonna keep asking me. Look at all these grapes. It's a lot of grapes. more milk, okay. We're out of milk, alright. You're back. You're back. I'm sorry, fellas. We're all out of bananas. No, Axel, don't go. Is this got it? Fruit seed, it's mine. Hmm. <laughs> There's like nothing I could get out of any of these spots just because uh, I haven't done any bonding with any of the other characters at all. So they're not offering anything.
boxes back home. Oh, I just realized all of them have cows. If you buy a cow for one, they all get them. I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're ranchers. Yeah, no, I think they're just raising animals separately. Alright, let's store... Wait, why can't I store these? I can't... Oh, I can't store the DLC items, right? So I gotta keep them on hand. Uh, iron plate we don't need anymore. Helm we don't need anymore. Iron helm we don't need anymore. Hold on to those. Hold on to these. Actually, wait a minute. What am I doing? Put the gloves away. We don't need those. Don't need the belt. Don't need the shields. There we go. Grow more self-assured with each passing year. I had no doubts at first, but now I know we can count on you. So? Shall I tell you more of our runaway scholar? Last we heard, he and his warrior ally crossed the sea to the Lenari Desert. This was some time ago, of course. Lightning brings the cactus pain. Now it all begins again. Of crumbled in few reminisce, its faulty beams will not be missed. Notice that these all sound pretty familiar. All clues point to the Lenari Desert as the home to the ruling element. His letter contains such mysterious verses as these. What could he have sought in the lands beyond the sea? Should your quest ever lead you there, may your memories of Birdville never become buried in sand. Farewell. So he's uh, starting to... Things are starting to piece together here. He's mentioning the lyrics that uh, Gertie was telling me. And it has something to do with the desert and the ruling element. Wonder what that means. So you fire to get over there. Not that I'm going to go over there at all, honestly. Uh, but the river's dried up, so I have to head to Veolu, I guess. Do our beginning of the year event. Oop, Black Knight. There he is. The man himself. Why, you? Stop eating my memories. Yeah, the caravan that ran into the Black Knight said he was swinging around wildly, and clearly he was swinging at something, I so... I still won't give up. In the end, I saw light. And then, all was dark. I can't remember what I loved and what I hated. I remember nothing at all. But someday, I will reclaim my memories from that light. So... Don't look at me that way. It isn't over yet. I'm not completely hollow. Interesting. I wonder what that's all pointing to. Uh -huh. 
exciting. So that was the Black Knight. Berserk is the only word that comes to mind. Swinging his weapon wildly, he hunted something I could not see. In a weary voice, he claimed that his memory had been stolen, and that he is now searching for the thief. Uh, let's scroll back. Mount Kalanda. I sailed to the island of Kalanda and landed safely, much to my relief. Mount Kalanda fumed angrily in the distance. I hurried onward. At the summit waited the Iron Giant, who gave me fair amounts of trouble. All is well, though, and I am back on the coast. Is there still any stories I haven't started yet? Yep, there's one, apparently. Two, three. We don't need to combine these two together. That's right. This world model can be yours for a mere ten thousand gil. Oh right, this plot point. I remember this. Hmm. It seems our current funds come up a little short. So Gertie is uh, scamming Amadati into thinking that that piece of Bannock is a uh, is the world. Of course, the world is a living thing, you know. Leave it for too long, and it will go bad. Go bad, you say? That's right. If we had no crystals, miasma would consume us all, correct? This revolutionary instrument makes it possible to test that scenario. I see. I am now more interested than ever. No, you fool. It's food! I must ask you to decide quickly. There are a great many others who would like to purchase it. Mm, that's too bad. I do wish I could have it. Tell me, how much do you have now? About 5,000 gil. Why? Oh, very well. You are my favorite professor, after all. It shall be yours for 5,000 gil. I, this, this whole exchange is just like... Yeah. I do not think we've met before, but I will gladly take it for 5,000 gil. Amadati, you, uh, you dumbass. You have quite a deal today, Professor. Oh my, it's rude to eavesdrop, you know. Did you totally see me swindle that man? To judge a book by its cover, but you are as readable as they come. How so? Dangerous types tend to flaunt it. Think of poisonous plants that show off distinctive colors. Well, look at me. Everything about me is a warning. Yeah, no kidding. You, on the other hand, are dressed quite normally. The truly dangerous never reveal themselves. The most innocuous facade often conceals the most vicious enemy. At any rate, you would do well to hear my new poem. Yes, I would actually. Please give it to me. Lonely mushroom bursts to flame in the land that quicksands claim. Cool. Got another another verse. I think there's five of them total. Hmm. That's odd. Where did I learn that one? Well, anyway, we mustn't agonize over the meaning of each and everything. Spoilers, this, uh, that plot point with the, with the bread actually gets brought up again quite a few times, I think. I can't believe it. I knew there was something suspicious about Gertie, but to think he's a swindler. I saw him cheat the caravan from Shella. At any rate, his verse for today follows. Lonely mushroom bursts to flame in the land that quicksands claim. Apparently he penned all of these himself with Shella. They're all clues. It's all connected.
I don't think anything's going on over here. Oh, wait, no. What's this? Well, when the river ran dry, I lost my business, so I fled back here. I sailed her pretty far out last year. We'll try a bit farther now. Luda. Oh, so I can go to Luda. Alright, so I can head there from this dock. But I'm also going to go up to Shella first. Uh, that said, I, I said I was going to stop early, but now it's almost 3 anyway. I might as well just uh, wrap it up. Here we go. The other one was technically Gert. Yeah, here we go. Leads to discoveries of all kinds. Here, today, at this very moment, yet another discovery is at hand. Behold, we have recently purchased this world model from a certain source. We heard it is indispensable in defining the fate of our world. Should learn of the world. Oh, step closer so that you might see. Not appreciatively eat it. Oh my god. I'll not appreciatively. Yes, it is astounding, is it not? As a matter of fact, we have more. Take it, friend. May we meet again. Wait, they had. So they bought more than one? Okay. You obtain a loaf of Bannock. Alright, so if I ate it, he would just have another one. I don't think I've gotten that item yet. I don't know what that does. World Model 1. Today a voice hailed to me from a distance. Amadati of Shella beckoned me closer. Pointing to a loaf of ordinary bannock, he, post he boasted that it was a model of the whole world. I simply nodded along. Ah, now I remember. It was the same loaf that Gertie was hawking before. Actually, wait a minute. Is that is that the other storyline now? One of the other storylines? Shell Cavern. Yep, it is. So there's two left. Water. What's my element now? Wind. Okay. Let me go back down and get the water element so I can skip past that uh, miasma stream. I guess next stream I'll finally start... Uh, I'll finish the level 1s and start the level 2 dungeons. There's still a method to everything, like there's, um, until I get the so-called mystery element, uh, you still kind of have to follow a, a set path through everything. That said, once I get the mystery element, uh, they, traveling around gets a lot easier and essentially you enter the last, uh, arc of the game at that point.
can't get up there. I need earth to get up there. There's wind and earth up there, but there's no earth here. There's earth there, but then I can't get to, uh... I can't get to the other spot. Interesting. They did say to go to Shella, right? Maybe I can't do that this time. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the, uh, the desert this time. All right, let me... T oh, I see. The, er the river's all uh, dried up, so I can't go that way anyway. So I'm kind of trapped here. You can not You can only go to the first two areas and, uh, and the new area. Because I can't get to the Fields of Foom. I can't get up past this area. It's very interesting how that works. Hmm. I heard the ferryman used to be a soldier for Alphataria. I wonder why he quit. <sighs> that conniving ferryman always overcharges. He's worse than those Selkic merchants. Hey! Ever been to the Fields of Foom? Strange event there is held from time to time. It's quite fun. <sighs> the Jagan River has run completely dry. What could those Shella lads be doing? Hmm. Oh look, I can actually walk this this route now. Whoa, what is this? Maybe I'm not trapped after all. That said, I don't think I could... Yeah, it's still showing that, uh... It's like a solid wall here, so I can't cross. <sighs> oh, I can't go any farther either, so it's just dried up. There's literally nothing to do here. Oh well. And it can't exactly go to Shella, so I guess we're kind of stuck here. then. Uh, I've got one more event, and then I'll stop when we, uh, actually I'll just stop when I, uh, at the dock. Well, I guess I pulled a full three hours out regardless. just now. We've been chasing it all day, but it's always one step ahead of us. <sighs> We're trying to grab any items it might have. I can't wait to see what it's carrying. Just the other day, we went after this beastie. Gigan Toad. I think I know what those are. Those are those things that uh, I was fighting in Conal Karak. Conal Karak? I, I gotta figure out how to pronounce that. Loots of Mars Pass gave me some advice. Since gigant toads are toads, you can get toad oil from them. What? They're immune to cold. Who cares? Just give them a good thwacking. I 
I didn't mean to actually go in here. Oh, uh, shit. Save it and quit. I am good for tonight. That was a fun stream. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. I, I appreciate it. Really do. Uh, got quite a few viewers tonight. That was pretty neat. Uh, I'll probably be back with more of this tomorrow. Not sure yet. Uh, I, I might I might be busy. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I do want to make more progress in this game, though, because it's going a lot slower than I wanted it to. Uh, that said, uh, I will be back with Smash Spirit Journey this Friday. Continue on that, finally, after taking a week off. Uh, I will... This Saturday is my four-year anniversary streaming. I have a couple ideas planned. Uh, we'll see what I do. Uh, probably... I mean, I'm definitely going to stream on Saturday, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens after that, too, because looks like the game list here might be getting a little bit congested again soon. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, you guys have a great evening. Uh, if you want to watch more streamers, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild abandon. Uh, I will be raiding someone as soon as the stream goes off, so stick around and uh, enjoy whoever comes up next. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>